everyone, my name is Melanie, owner and trainer at Pole Fit Revolution, and this month's pole move of the month is the chair spin. We're going to give you different variations and teach you at a beginner level and move you forward into intermediate and advanced options. So to start off, we're going to do the chair spin itself, and I will just show you a um, demonstration. Okay, so to start off with the beginner move, that um, all we want to do is try to get our feet off the ground. So you're going to walk around the pole. You do want to gain momentum with walking around the pole. Your inside hand, and start with your strong hand, is going to be high. And it's important that that arm stays nice and straight and your shoulder is anchored down into your back. You don't want to let your shoulder lift out of your back because um, that would obviously hurt your shoulder. So keep that arm nice and strong and you're going to walk. And when you're ready to execute, you're going to step with your inside foot, swing with your outside foot. As the arm comes around, it's going to brace the pole, and you're really just pushing the pole away from you. Uh, you can grab on uh, as well for a little bit more security. And then as that leg swings around, you're going to pull it up into a chair position and bring the other foot to match it and so that you're sitting in a chair. And just try to stay off the ground for a very short period of time. Swing top and bring it down. So when I'm training the beginner students, we just really try to get that momentum so that you're kind of like a tether ball and you're getting that momentum away from the pole to get used to getting your feet off the ground and that you're not falling into the pole. And then to go into the next level, basically just staying off the ground longer and that's making sure if your shoulder is still anchored and you're able to stay off the ground longer that you can get one or two revolutions around the pole and then just walk out of it. So that swing and tuck is going to help you to get that momentum to spin around the pole and stay off the ground for longer as well as anchoring the shoulders and making sure that you look nice and controlled throughout the move. Um, another variation that you can do, and um, these lead up into more intermediate or advanced options for the spin itself, is to just do a stag leg and walk out. Or you can do a pipe leg, so that's going to require more abdominal strength. You're going to walk, swing that outside leg, and walk out of it. Then the super advanced option would be that single arm motion. And really take some time to build up your strength on both sides doing the spin before you try the single arm option. And you're gonna come around, and you're gonna swing, and walk out. Make sure that that shoulder does not fall out of the uh, socket, obviously, so that because um, that can cause a lot of tension or uh, pain in that area. So keep that nice and secure. Build up that strength. Take time and really be patient with yourself on the chair spin because it does take a lot of practice to do it right. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm Melanie, and we'll hope to see you soon.